Here come Albion. Johnston over the halfway line. He's got two with him. Mikey Johnston goes himself onto his right foot. Johnston back onto his left foot. He's got Wallace with him as well. Johnston oh, goes and drags it wide of the far post on the edge of the penalty area. Fantastic work from Mikey Johnston. But unlike down at Plymouth, the finishing touch was lacking on this occasion. Here is Johnston. Out to the right-hand side it goes. Albion looking to get the opener here at the MKM Stadium. Fellows into the box, taking on Giles. Pulls it. Oh, there it is! Oh, he's on the it's ball. Crossbar comes back towards Mowat, who will hit it towards goal. Saved by Ryan Altop and cleared oh. away by Jaden Philogene. Two chances for Albion, two let-offs for Hull City. It remains nil-nil. Jed Wallace sees his close-range effort come back off the bar. That is not easy. He's had to get his feet up and down and up and down and adjust. And I thought he was in for all the world. Kuzlu tries to win it back. John Michael Seri gets away from him. Dian Garner tries to poke it towards Cedric Kipre. Only pokes it closer to a whole man. And there's a strike from range, but Palmer has to parry away. And it comes out towards Fabio Cavallo. It's horrible, it's horrible. Who tries to beat Darnell Furlong on the left-hand side of the whole penalty area. Furlong sticks out a toe. It goes behind for a corner. But a crucial stop that from Alex Palmer. Here is Giles, Cavallio, edge of the box, Cavallio will oh. shoot, oh, and it's gone past Palmer, into the top corner, and Hull City have caught Albion Cole from a set-piece. The on-loan Liverpool star has rocketed Hull City into the lead here, just over ten minutes to go before the break. Albion switched off from that corner. And Cavallio puts Hull City 1-0 into the league. Well, you've got to say it's against the run of play, haven't you? But they're very, very clever. They, they take the quick free, uh, the quick corner, sorry. And I'm just waiting to see the replay of this goal and his finish. Uh, Jed Wallace said something to Alex Palmer. I don't know what he said. This must move. This must really, really move. Here is Wallace, and it comes towards that near post. Furlong. There it is! It's Furlong. Yes! Into the there it is! And Get it bounces there. over Ryan Olsop into the far corner, drifts in, and the Baggies have a deserved leveller. They've scored from a set piece from the second game running, and Darnell Furlong is the beneficiary. Hull 1, Albion 1, minutes before the half time whistle. Well, I've been saying for a few weeks now we need to be scoring more goals from set pieces. I tell you what, Darnell Furlong, he leaps very, very well throughout the game, not just in set pieces. There's a little bit of pushing and shoving. It didn't look one of the better deliveries, to be honest, but I'm guessing they've worked on on the training ground to find Darnell. And he gets a lovely little header and he sort of heads it down. And it comes up in the, into the roof of the net. 1-1. And to be fair, I think 1-1's a fair result going in at half-time. I really do. Anas Zorori to take this free kick from the right-hand side, plays it into the edge of the box. Here is Sean Michael Seri, oh, tries to what. just chip that one towards the back post and Alex Palmer backpedalling <laughs> very quickly, I might add, tips it over the top of the crossbar. That was nestling in the back of the net, Andy. It's 1-1. It, it certainly could well was. have been 2-1 to Hull City It there. certainly was going to drop in, wasn't it? On the right-hand side. Philogene now will run up towards the edge of the penalty area. Here is Jaden Philogene trying to slip it through towards Cavallio. Gets don't there foul, ahead of Cedric Kipre. Kipre tries to win the ball back off him. Cavallio does well. Coyle turns away from Mikey Johnston. Now here is uh, Regan Slater, two fan towards Philogene. Edge of the box, tries to get away from Kipre. Philogene towards Giles. Didn't shoot. It's back with Philogene who does shoot. It's oh, off the post. And now Cavallio takes it on. And Cavallio puts it over the top of the crossbar wow, wow, wow. two huge opportunities for Hull City to get their noses back in front here with just over 10 minutes to go but Philogene hits the post and then Cavallio fires over from the rebound inside the box Andy that's a massive let off yeah it should be 2-1 to Hull Oh, come on, can we nick it? Oh, go on, on. giving it straight go down, go down! Here's Weiman inside the penalty area, maybe could have gone down. Leaves it for Reach, edge of the box, oh, Reach, right oh, oh, it off the post, and it's John Swift oh, to shoot! Swifty. It's a save by Alsop, and Hull City are able to clear it. <laughs> well, Hull City, two minutes ago at one end, could have won it, and at the other end now, Which Albion should... have missed their opportunity with Reach hitting the post, and Swift unable to beat Ryan Alsop from inside the penalty area. Almost a carbon copy, Andy, of Philogene and Cavallio. <laughs> at the other end <laughs> exactly the same wasn't it I mean it's a measured shot from uh, from Adam Reach it really is he, you can see he just takes his time and he just bends it round and it hits the post it comes exactly the same as that and then the ball comes out to Swift and he drags his shot wide 